What's up Spankers? Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. In today's adventure, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. If you've been watching my last couple videos, then you know that my car broke down. If you haven't been watching my last couple videos, my car broke down. So, I'm gonna be riding around on this bucket of bolts, trying to catch fish. Now, that's typically my canal cruiser, the bike that I use to fish the canal, but the canal is 25 miles away, so we're not gonna be pedaling there. I'm gonna pedal out to some of the local ponds, try to spank some bass, see what we can do. Catching fish from a bike fishing challenge. Not literally. I don't have to catch the fish from the bike while I'm pedaling, but I have to pedal to get there. That would be pretty cool though. Reeling a bass while riding a wheelie. We're gonna ride around on the bike, look for some fish, and hope to spank some. Let's get into it. Well, that's not fun. Old man messed it up. Oh, there's the osprey that's been trying to eat my baby rabbits. Better stay his ass over here and stick to the mackerel and the pogies. Otherwise, I'll be having osprey dinner. Wonder if there's any trout in here. They do stock it, but not really worth the time and effort if you ask me. All right, I'm gonna rest my ass for a few minutes and try to pull a bass out of this hole. You probably see me catch a trout out of here. There's bass too. Yep. Look at that. Got the skunk out of the boat early. There we go. Hey! A little bass on the clout worm. Back he goes. There we go. All right, cool. All right, cut a couple of bass. Hey! Two on the clout worm. Might be the same bass, but... <laughs> All right, Spank has got the skunk out of the boat. Not really the uh, size fish we're looking for, so we're gonna pedal to a bigger body of water, hopefully with some bigger fish. Let's do it. Cross the bridge, over the river, and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. Big Grandma Bass, that is, hopefully. Oh, look at these big mean birds. Dude, how does he get his foot like that? Look at his foot. That's weird. Eating your own feathers? You're an odd bird. We are on a real fishing adventure today, Spankers. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Woo! Man, I am out of shape. Could stop at this pond right here, but it's a little bit overgrown around the edge, so we're gonna keep it moving to the main objective. No side missions. Not today, Satan. Never forget the Battle of Penis Hill. Cock and Ball Ridge, Mushroom Head Mountain. No, seriously, who did that? You people in Plymouth have sick, disgusting minds. I can't take it, I'm going fishing. Ah. 
try. A couple little minnows around, not seeing any bass. I'll give it a try anyway. It's a cast. Alright, in there like swimwear. All right, Spankers, other side of the pond. As you can see, nice overcast, cloudy day. Not much wind, but it is blowing in our direction, so gotta spank some bass over here. Do it. All right, let's toss the uh, splash pack popper in the bone white smoke. Spanish bone smoke. Move down to this little river here. See what's crapping in. This is why I believe certain people shouldn't be allowed to fish. You're gonna just leave your line out there, like it's right here to grab. I mean, not that difficult really. Just pulling what's left. I mean, at the very least, you could just get the line out of the water. Even if you're not gonna get your lure back, why just leave the shit? Like that's just laziness. The line's right there to grab. Now this is why they made it no parking because dickheads like this will leave in trash. So yeah, thanks to you douchebags. Some people just should not be allowed to fish. I know some of you think that fishing's for everybody, but it's really not. Like if you're leaving trash at the ponds you go to, it's not for you. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go over here, try to claim this spot and uh, yeah, set up. Surface. I'm about to grab that popper. I'm getting the popper, dude. This stuff happening out there. Stuff happening here too, but definitely out there. Gotta get the skunk out of the boat at this pond. There's like a little mini blitz going on out there. This water's a little cloudier than it usually is. This water's usually crystal clear. It's actually very cloudy right now. of activity on the surface, but I don't know what the heck it is. Could be white perch chasing those bait fish, could be bait fish chasing bugs, who the heck knows. Oh, it's baby bass. <laughs> Maybe you show interest in this top waters. Any top waters, to be honest. I'm gonna have to make a change here. Probably put the catwalk on this rod. Yeah, I'll throw the swim bait a little bit. If I don't catch anything on that, I'll uh, try the shaky head with a craw imitation or maybe a shaky worm. We'll see. Over on the other side here, see if there's any bass stacked up. We're gonna make a lure change, a couple lure changes, I think. Pretty big bass. Yeah, I've seen a lot of small fish, not seeing anything of any significance. Oh, the pond's got it. Got him. All right, cool. Got the skunk out at this pond. All dinks so far, but better than getting skunked. 
Saw this little guy cruising towards it. Wasn't really expecting him to pick it up, but he did. First bass out of the second pond, the main objective pond. Try back out on this wall. There's bigger fish out here. Of course, doesn't mean they'll eat anything, but worth a shot. Oh, shoot. Probably gonna end up with spiders all over me, but that's okay. I think this worm, this worm might be toast. Might be toasty. Ooh, bubbles. I like bubbles. Ooh, hello, baby bass. <laughs> I love how he was sitting vertically on that wall. Never seen a bass do that. Spider bass, spider bass. Okay, well, <laughs> the camera was off, but got a better size one on the shaky head. Switched to uh, black because it's a little dark out and the uh, water's muddier than usual, and boom, hit the, hit the seven inch shaky head jig with the cosmic black shaky head worm. Nice little dude, get him back. Off he goes. All right, sweet deal. Try to catch another one this time with the, uh, try to catch it with the camera on. Get right here in front of me. That was long. Worked for one bass. <laughs> Caught a bass on a shaky head biggest bass of the day easily still not saying much but something better than getting skunked in it looks like there's some rain clouds moving in that wasn't supposed to happen storm front moving in sunfish just tried to eat my fishing line It might be a white perch too. I don't know. Feels more like a smallmouth though. Don't jump. What are you? You're not a bass. Oh, you are a bass. Okay, cool. Excellent. Oh, there he goes. That's an easy release. Don't even have to get my pliers out. And yeah, I'm counting that because I had them subdued. What a weird day for weather. Bass don't seem to be too impressed with it. I mean, catching them, but <laughs> not with any consistency. It's like one every hour and it's always on a different lure. Every fish I've caught out of this pond has been on a different lure anyway. All right, Spank is gonna spend the rest of the video fishing this pond. This pond connects to the pond we were just fishing via this little canal type deal. You saw me standing on the wall of the canal. Connects these two ponds. Take him. Boom. Nice. Six bass of the day.
All right, Spankers, that's going to wrap this one up. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button and possibly think about considering subscribing. Not the greatest day of bass fishing. No size whatsoever. Don't even think I broke the two pound barrier, but caught six or seven bass. Biggest one was probably about two pounds on the shaky head. Kind of a weird day. It was overcast. It looked like a good day, but it was pretty hot and muggy too. So I don't know. Maybe the bass were confused. I caught three on a clout worm. Then every other bass I caught was on a different random lure. Caught two on the catwalk, top water, and caught one on the cosmic black shaky head, seven inch worm. Yeah. So kind of a weird day, but not bad for riding around on this friggin' thing. Now that I don't have a car, that's pretty much gonna be my transportation. I'm not gonna be fishing every day from that thing. I'm too old to be riding around on a bike with 30 pounds of shit, but I'm gonna be doing it as often as I can. If you like these bass fishing videos, hit the like button. That way they get recommended to people who also like bass fishing videos. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking them. Hi, can I please get a large minty loo? Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Thanks, you too.